the entity that comes to you and touches you or has some sort of an interaction with you and says star seed awaken well you're getting an attunement and you are being woken up this is a form of what we call shaktipat shaktipat is where you receive enlightenment <clears throat> or you receive right that down or you receive attunements as a result of a, an actual physical touch or a transmission. This is what yogis do with their disciples. They actually touch them on the top of their head or some part of the body, and these beings or the disciples are filled with some sort of an enlightenment or an awareness. Often, and this is what how it happened and began with me, I will have an encounter with an entity and they will physically touch me, physically adjust me. And the first time it ever happened, I, I asked a question of the beings, there were three of them, and I said, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they told me, I, we're giving you attunements. And essentially they said, we were making you a match for what we want to do, the work we want to do with you. Similar, this is just different language. So if they're saying starseed awaken, that means you're getting an attunement, you're being woken up and you're being made a match for whatever it is they want to bring to you or through you as a channel. It also might be a call for you to start looking around at your life and seeing if there are things that you can retool and rework and reposition so that you can live a more spiritual life. And it is probably something where you are a light worker, right? So you're somebody who's come to this planet to shift it. Well, we've all come to the planet to shift it in some way, but light workers are people who typically build a career, build a practice, have their purpose rooted in their spiritual work and so you might be at the beginning of a journey in that direction or you might be activated now to a higher level within that work somebody else asked a question about a being trying to push them through a wall that's very similar to what happened to me last night being rushed up on me pushed me on my chest and pushed me back through her bathroom and to the wall and through the wall this is not uncommon especially if they catch you off guard or especially if you're not running dominion and you don't know what's happening and you're freaking out and you're scared they can manipulate you that way and things like walls in the astral they're not solid they are just energy they are collection a little bit denser collection of energy that exists within the astral and so we can put our hand right through the wall we can get pushed our body our, our astral body can be pushed through a wall so that's that's not uncommon I walk through walls all the time I don't know if you guys do when I'm lucid dreaming or when I'm having an astral projection but an entity doing that to you I don't like that simply because it it happened to me last night and that was a jive turkey for real I took care of him though um, so this is a situation where you're gonna have to practice in your waking life the feeling of dominion and you have to remind yourself and understand who it is that you are my sweetie you are the one with the power there's no spirit that is more powerful than you are in this dimension, even when you're sleeping, even when you sleep, pop out of your body and go into the astral where they, li where they live. You still have the dominion. You still have the power. It's the realm. It's the dimension. It's the total thing that humans have dominion over. So you have to get acquainted with that.